that's that's good. And we're all happy. Yeah. Look, an audience, another exciting day at the LA Guitar Amp Show. I'm really excited. This is John Marsh from Guitar Talk with John and Jamie, and I'm here at the 2012 LA Amp and Custom Guitar Show. I'm here with Reality Web Video. I'm actually very excited. I'm here at Phil Jones Bass talking about the uh, Air Pulse 1.8 with. I'm Michael Albrando with Phil Jones Bass Amplification. Well done. Thank you. I thought that was good. Excellent. Should we, oh, should we wrap at that point? I think I think we're good. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, no, I think we should need to talk about the amp. Yeah. I think people are really. I'm really excited because um, I came in here earlier, mm -hmm. and um, I got an opportunity to play one of the great exotic guitars. Oh yeah. And I was able to play through your amp, and I was really, really amazed. It's a small body amp with a lot of character and, and voice, and it's sitting sitting on the floor, and it's lightweight. You want you want to tell me about it? How you're doing this? Sure. I mean, this is a very exciting time for us at Phil Jones Bay. We are actually branching out into the electric guitar realm with a new brand called Air Pulse. And the first amp in that series is going to be the Air Pulse 1 8. Some of the features uh, it's a single 8 inch neodymium driver. Okay, talk about that. Okay, we wanted to make it lightweight, we wanted to make it compact, a small footprint. We find that guys and musicians in the inner cities, it's tough to roll around a giant tube amp that weighs 75 pounds half the time. I remember in New York taking my amp on my backpack on the 6 train. Oh. I had it like, like a, like a yeah. deluxe or sometimes something bigger on my backpack, or like a, a polytone mini yeah. brute oh, yeah. on my backpack yeah. on the 6 train. Oh yeah. So, like I said, we were trying to make something with a small footprint that would be lightweight, but uh, would have enough power to do most gigs, whether you're doing a blues trio or you're playing guitar in a nine-piece funk band, we wanted uh, to definitely have a speaker that could handle, you know, just about anything. And as far as I'm finding in the guitar realm, which is kind of different from the bass realm, is that you guys love pedals. Mm -hmm. And there's a ton of them, as you can see with the exotic line, yep. the, the variety varieties of choices that you have uh, with pedals today is just endless. So we wanted to make, you know, a combo amplifier that would totally handle any sort of frequency. So this is considered a, an actual combo? A combo amp. It's a 300 watt digital power section, 600 watt peak, 300 watt RMS. Um, Control-wise, it's very simple. And it's tiny. And that's what's tiny, mind Tiny footprint. Control-wise, it's very simple, bass, mid-range, and treble. And uh, like I said, we keep it simple for the fact that we find that a lot of guitar people are playing with pedals. And pedals is like the essence of a lot of their sound. And we wanted to provide them with a combo amp that was as natural and uncolored as it could possibly And that's be. actually a really accurate way of describing it. When I played through it, what was astounding to me, and you know, I'm not coming in with a super crunch distortion mm, sound. No, no, no. I was just playing some nice, really clean chords mm -hmm. and some textures, and it responded so well to my hands, and it was really an open sound, and, and it didn't feel like it was, it wasn't yeah. diminished by the size of the cabinet, or it just had this really nice, responsive um, feel to it, which is unusual for, for an amp like that. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, that comes from Phil's background as an audio engineer, mm -hmm. just looking to find the most natural natural tones in just about any piece of equipment that mm -hmm. he would be designing, whether it be aud for audio or bass guitar, of course, or an acoustic guitar amp, trying to capture the essence of, uh, you know, of whatever instrument you're playing. I've, I've said this a bunch of times to folks that, you know, it's sort of like with a Phil Jones amp, it's, it doesn't know it's a bass amp, it doesn't know it's a guitar amp. It's taking whatever signal you're giving it and producing it in the most natural tone it possibly can. That's a great goal. I mean, the natural, the na not no, no artifact, no sort of digitization process. It had a very warm quality. And, uh, and, and to, at least to me as a player, um, something light, I have a really bad back, like something really light that I can move around and then will give me the sound that I need in whatever environment is a great idea. Oh yeah, yeah. it's on, on the money with, with when it comes to being portable and natural tones. And uh, I, you know, in no way, shape or form are we out to compete with any of the great guitar uh, manufacturers that are out there. What we're really trying to do is give guitar players options, especially guys, there, let's face it, there are guys who are not famous musicians but are out there playing seven nights a week. Right. And these guys need portability and they need tone. My back needs portability. <laughs> <laughs> my, my back, I can't even, twins now, if I have a gig where I have to bring a twin, I hire somebody to bring the oh, twin. Oh, I hear. Well, you could carry two of our amps and be fine. <laughs> Comes with a, you know, a padded gig bag, uh -huh. shoulder strap. 
uh, airplane couple, friendly. Yeah, airplane friendly. I actually flew out here with one. Wow. And I was oh, able to, in the uh, overhead. In the overhead. Wow. And I was I was able to do that, which is is great for for the touring guys who are just you know rely a lot on pedals but need a portable lamp that you know is not going to be like I said give you so much of a coloration type mm -hmm. of sound and just more of the natural sound of the instrument whether you're a vintage guy playing a 50s strat or you've got a, a PRS mm -hmm. that you paid 15 grand for with all the deluxe features at the end of the day I, I, I think you know it's just everyone wants that natural sound of the instrument sure. that they were drawn to and the, the ease also it's not just color it's sure. like the way the amp responds to the way you play mm -hmm. it's very touch sensitive and had a great ability to um, mold I mean everybody plays differently mm -hmm. but I was able to really easily get a feel for it like like that sure yeah, yeah. great yeah I was you know this was a great uh, learning experience for me being in the bass world for so long uh, Stepping out into the guitar realm, not being a guitar player, there's so much to learn about guitar players and their their techniques and you know, their choice of mm -hmm. pedals. So uh, this was great being here in Van Nuys at, at the uh, Guitar and Amp Show mm -hmm. for for me. It's uh, you know we do, we do shows back home in in New York at a different scale, but there's not so much uh, you know. A huge variety of players. They seem kind of one-dimensional sometimes, but it was great to be here with, uh, you know, with a. We vast, are polydimensional. Yeah, you're, po you're polydimensional. Polydimensional. I'm going to use that word. Polydimensional. Yeah. All right, you can Most use that. Definitely. I get a dime every time you do you it. You get though. a dime every time. And uh, you, if you think I'm not coming for it, you are. Yeah, <laughs> I hear you. Another feature we uh, Phil provided a top hat mount on the bottom okay. of the uh, of the unit that you could use with you know a tripod mount. So on the floor or on, well, a tripod? on the on the floor. Or on a tripod. Like as a monitor, like almost? You could use it as a monitor if you want more of like a, a thinner tone, a more brighter, a pronounced tone. You could put it on a on a tripod, or some guys like to put it flat on the floor. It gives it a little bit more beef to it. Mm -hmm. But either way, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just going to produce whatever it's giving you. Okay. Is there anything special that you'd like to add that you want everybody here to know about? Um, yeah. Uh, look for us at uh, NAM in 2013. We should have some more uh, products in the Air Pulse line, and uh, you know. Uh, be on the lookout for anything Air Pulse because it's there's going to be a variety of exciting stuff coming in the in the months and years to come. Okay, and the website? Oh, uh, www.philjonespuresound.com. Also, I'd like to note uh, for those of you in the New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey area, there is a showroom uh, located at. Uh, 54 East Madison in Clifton, New Jersey. 54 East Madison in Clifton, New Jersey. In Clifton, New Jersey, yeah. So if you're, if you're in the New York area. Garden State. Garden State area in Jersey. And uh, feel free to stop by anytime. Shoot me a call. Really, call them at 2 o'clock in the morning. Call me at 2 o'clock in the morning. Say you want to come by, you're bringing beer. And you're bringing beer. Yeah, all right. Just want to check in. You guys, the 2 o'clock thing, bring the beer. All right. John, thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate you taking the All time. Right, thank uh, you. LA Amp Show 2012, John March, Guitar Talk with John and Jamie, Reality Web Video. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you and, so much. And uh, we're out. Bye now.